Arizona has a ton of pools, which means more opportunities for a baby to drown. For our peace of mind, we're putting Dakotas in swim class. The only problem is the boy don't like to get wet. Dakotas is got swimming lessons today. He's not feeling it. He's just hungry. Okay. Oh yeah, you want it? Oh, you so hungry, boy, huh? You my hungry baby. You wanna head down there, Amber? Yeah. Made it. Tabitha, you ready to get in the pool? I'm not swimming today. You are a swim instructor today. Nope, it's all you, Bubba, babe, babe, and Bubba. Now I'm gonna keep it real. This is a big day for Dakotas, but it's also a big day for me. Because growing up, I never had swim class and I didn't even know people took swim class. For me, I had my goggles, but if it wasn't water that I could stand in, I wasn't going in it. And I definitely didn't see people that look like me really swimming. We just played in the water. This is all new for me. I think I have no idea. I think you just Wait, get in. Is that Everybody else know what they're doing. Can we go ahead and get in? Oh, okay. Okay, Dakotas did great, literally killed it. I honestly didn't even know two month year old babies could start to learn how to swim. Um, but yeah, he did really good. We had a blast. He only had a hiccup at the very end. I think he was just overly tired and did not like floating on his back. Would you look at that? The boy's already done something his daddy ain't ever done. Got a ribbon for swimming. Boy, you Dakota swimmer in the family. Guys, 
hear me when I say that was a completely new experience for me as well. As a kid, I was never taught how to swim. I just had to figure it out. And I feel like most black families also, we're not taught like how to swim and it's just not cool to swim like that. So we, we don't ever really try. The first time that I was ever aware of needing to know how to swim is when me and my brothers went to the pool and there was a, a shallow end. And then the deep end, to get to the deep end, there was like a little rope and you weren't allowed to go past that rope unless you had a band. The band signified that, hey, this kid knows how to swim. My brother, he had a band. Me, I never got a band. I didn't fail the test. I just never tried because I wasn't sure if I knew how to swim, but I knew I could just stand in the water. And I was really cool with the kids that also wasn't going on the deep end. And I wasn't about to be uncool by getting up on that diving board, jumping off and trying to swim around and me just drowning out there. My mindset was literally, if I'm not sure I can kill this, I'm not even gonna try. And so I didn't. Your boy never got that bracelet, the band, to go on the deep end. So I just said, forget that. And that was probably for like three or four years. And then down the road, I finally learned how to swim, but I still wasn't sure if I, learned, if I knew how to swim. So I got up on a diving board, not at the pool with all the lifeguards, and everybody was like jumping off the diving board. It was cool. And this is at the point where I'm like, all right, I'm trying to be cool, learn. So I went up there and when I went to go jump, I would make sure that I was gonna jump right next to the wall so that if I didn't know how to swim, I didn't even have to do anything to grab onto the wall and get out. And so for the first couple of times, I really didn't know what I was doing. I was just jumping stupid close to the wall and then grabbing the wall after. In my head, I thought, I was like, oh, like, I got this. I can, I can jump off the diving board. Guys, this is the aftermath of his first swim class. As you can see, the boy was just crying, but um, is now thoroughly knocked out. Yeah, you earned that one.